Hello Sparkle Squad, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jasmine, this is Dumbo, and welcome back to my channel. Dumbo is the elephant of wisdom, if you guys didn't know. So I'm petting him so I can be wisdom-y. <laughs> but anyways, for today's video, I am super, 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 super excited because U.S. Figure Skating came out with this new series that is going to be happening this year, which means that we're still going to be having competitions, and I am so excited. We got the email a couple of days ago, and I'm just so excited for this new series, so I'm going to be reading it for you guys and sharing it with all of you. So I have the announcement pulled up on my computer, and I am literally so excited about this. It is titled, so like the article is called U.S. Figure Skating Qualifying Season Update. So the qualifying season is usually regional, sectionals, and then nationals. But because of COVID, it has been canceled. And then here it says the 2021 U.S. Figure Skating Championship Series presented by Toyota has been created to replace the traditional U.S. qualifying season competitions for the 2020-21 figure skating season due to the impact of COVID-19. So the announcement was created on Thursday, August 6th, 2020. So that's when they sent it out and we got an email about it. And when I read it the first time, I was literally so excited because like, we're still gonna have competitions. And this is like such an amazing idea. So let's get started with the like article or like the news. So this new series is going to be named the 2021 US Figure Skating Championship Series and I'm so excited, so let's start reading. The 2021 U.S. Figure Skating Championship Series, presented by Toyota, is a series of eight competitions that will take place over a four-week period beginning November 10th, 2020. The Championship Series has been created to replace the traditional U.S. qualifying season competitions, challenges, and finals. For the 2020-21 figure skating season due to the impact of COVID-19. The championship series format, which has been approved by the U.S. Figure Skating Board of Directors, was conceived as a result of athlete, coach, and parent-slash-guardian or chaperone feedback, as well as input from the U.S. Figure Skating Com Competitions Committee and Discipline Skating Committees. So what this is talking about is, I believe a couple months ago they sent out this survey for parents, skaters, coaches, to fill out and it was asking about like the qualifying season and stuff like if they still have it would you still go or like how far would you want to drive to go and stuff like that and you have to send that in and I'm guessing they took the results or like feedback from that survey to use it to create this as long as like the US figure skating competitions committee and discipline skating committees to like put in their input. The delayed start of the U.S. qualifying season, originally scheduled to begin on September 29th, will allow skaters the necessary time to train so they are ready to compete with proper preparation. As it has done throughout the planning process for the championship series, U.S. figure skating will continue to assess the viability of this plan based on state and local regulations to ensure the health and well-being for all participants. Now we're moving in to the explanation of the series, and I am so excited about this, so I'm going to start reading it to you guys. So let's start. The 2021 U.S. Figure Skating Championship Series, presented by Toyota, is scheduled to take place from November 10th through December 6th on eight geographically diverse locations, permitting athletes to compete at up to two competitions and the location of their choice. Similar, similar to the U.S. Figure Skating National Qualifying Series, NQS, results from the Championship Series will be uploaded to U.S. Figure Skating's Event Management System, EMS, following each event and sectional and national rankings will be available for participants. Advancement to the 2021 Toyota U.S. Figure Skating Championships an assignment to the 2021 National High Performance Development Team will be based on each skater's highest score and earned rather than placement at each competition. Prior to August 17, U.S. Figure Skating will publish a comp comprehensive championship series athlete and coach handbook with a full outline of the championship series and technical information. 
Informational webinars to review the handbook and address questions will also be held. So now we're talking a little bit more about the registration timeline. Athletes will be allowed to enter a maximum of two of the eight competitions being offered. The EMS-based registration process will open at www.usfsaonline.org on Monday, August 17th, 2020. Registration will be a three-step process as outlined below. Step 1. All athletes intending to compete must register for the 2021 U.S. Figure Skating Championship Series between August 17th and September 25th, 2020. Step 2. Championship Series registered participants will then select any competition from the list below between August 17th and September 1st, 2020, with acceptance based upon space availability. Please note, due to facility and scheduling limitations, U.S. Figure Skating will enforce a maximum number of entries for each event. Step 3. After the close of the first phase of event selection by registered participants and an assessment of event availability, Championship Series athletes will have the opportunity to register for a second competition, or first if the event was not selected during Step 2 window, between September 7th and September 25th, 2020. Registration during Step 3 will again be based on space availability. Note, athletes are strongly encouraged to register during the first phase, Step 2, to ensure that they have the best chance to compete at the location of their choice. So here are the confirmed competitions, and these are subject to change. So the first one is Blaine, Minnesota from November 9th through the 13th, 2020, and these are just for singles. Norwood, Massachusetts, November 10th through the 15th, 2020, singles and pairs. Spokane, Spokane, Washington, hopefully I said that correctly, through November 10th to the 15th, 2020, and this one's just for singles as well. Alpharetta, Georgia, November 17th through 20, 2020, for just singles. Fort Wayne, Indiana, November 17th through the 20th, 2020, singles and ice dance. Henderson, Nevada, November 24th through the 28th, 2020, singles and pairs. Leesburg, Virginia, December 1st through 6th, 2020, singles and ice dance. And Frisco, Texas, de December 1st through 6th, 2020, for just singles. I am so excited for these competitions because, like, it's competitions again and we can finally compete and I'm so excited to compete with my programs for this season because I was really sad when I couldn't compete with them because I love them so much. So I just can't believe that we're actually going to be able to have competitions this season and I am really excited. And then there's also some webinars for if you guys have any questions and this is like the date and time of them. So you have anticipated athlete, coach, and official webinar schedules. So these are for the athletes slash coaches. There's one on August 11th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Mountain Time, and then there's a link to register. August 12th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time and 5 p.m. Eastern Time, and then there's a link to register as well. And then there's one for officials, and that one is on August 13th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Mountain Time. And then, again, there's a link to register. And then here is uh, some frequently asked questions and answers, so I'm going to read this to you guys just in case if you have any extra questions. What is the health and safety plan for these eight competitions? U.S. Figure Skating is working with each local organizing club and faculty partner on the development and implementation of a public health and safety plan in accordance with state and local regulations, including but not limited to participant requirements, testing, temperature checks, health questionnaires, building slash event flow, and emergency action plans. Details for all attendees will be advanced via email and pre-competition Zoom calls. What is the benefit of holding eight competitions compared to the traditional challenge and finals format? The decision to reimagine the U.S. qualifying season for this year only is based on the survey results from athletes, coaches, and parents. Shifting events to November and December allows athletes more time to train and properly prepare to compete. Additionally, it was important to recognize that many athletes are not training in their traditional rinks. So these eight competitions are located in strategic locations with an emphasis on providing the option for most athletes to drive to a location that is nearest to them. Can I truly compete anywhere in the country? 
Yes, the goal is to provide athletes with the maximum flexibility to compete and qualify for the U.S. Championships and or the National High Performance Development Camp. Does this mean challenges and finals are canceled? Due to the impact of COVID-19, the championship series has been created to replace the traditional U.S. qualifying competitions, challenges, and finals for the 2021 U.S. figure skating qualifying season to provide the best opportunity for the all athletes to train and be ready to compete in November slash December. My rink just recently opened and I can't test prior to the registration dates listed. What should I do? U.S. Figure Skating has provided technical notification 250 that allows athletes to register at their current test level or up to two levels higher. Rule 2424 will still apply. Me personally, I am so happy that the technical notification 250 is still applied because I only have my intermediate free skate test and I should be competing in novice and there's not that many test sessions coming up soon so I'm really lucky that they're still applying it so that I can compete in novice. How will athletes advance to the U.S. Championships? Advancement to the 2021 Toyota U.S. Figure Skating Championships and naming of the National High Performance Development Team will be processed and made available to the public the week of December 7th. So for this competition, I am so excited because what they're going to be doing is they're going to be taking the scores of each of the skaters from either the one or the two competitions that they did and they're going to take the nation of scores and they're going to put it in a list and then they're going to take, I'm not sure how many of the top skaters, but they're automatically going to be able to qualify for nationals or the national development camp. And that seems like such an amazing idea and I'm so happy that they're doing that. So this way we don't have to do regionals and sectionals and they just automatically go to the camp or nationals. So I know that kind of is a little bit confusing, so I'm going to try and break it down a little bit more for you guys. So what they're going to be doing is, if you guys get first place at either of the competitions, let's just say that you get first place, maybe at a different competition, someone got fourth place, but they have a higher score value than what you have with your first place. So that means they, are, they might be able to make it to the national camp or nationals, and you might not be able to. So that's kind of what that means. Hopefully you guys understand it. I am so excited about this new qualifying season. It seems like such an amazing idea and I am so excited for all these competitions and I'm just excited that we can compete. I'm going to have the link to this article in the description box so that you guys can read it for yourselves and if you guys have any other questions, you guys can sign up for the webinar that they're going to be answering your questions for you guys. So I feel like that's going to be an amazing idea. This is the end of the video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I am so so excited. As I already told you guys, it seems like an amazing idea and I can't wait to compete this season or like just compete in general again. And I'm just, I'm literally so excited. I want you guys to comment down below. What are your thoughts on this new qualifying season? And also if you guys are planning on going to any, either one of these competitions, I'm not sure which ones I'm going to yet. We're leaning towards the one in Georgia, but we're not sure about the second one yet. And I am just so excited, but you know what that means. I have to start practicing my programs again, especially my free skate, because that one is pretty hard, and I need a couple of triples. <sighs> That's a lot of work, but I'm willing to do it, because I really want to make it to the National Development Camp, and I really want to like do good at these competitions. But anyways, also don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn notifications. Love you guys. Bye.